Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today I'm going to be going over some shot group data using Stay Ball 6.5 powder and the Hornady 147 grain ELD match bullets. The rifle that I'll be using in this video is my Ruger Precision Rifle Chamberlain 6.5 Creedmoor. There's nothing aftermarket about the rifle. It is completely stock. It's got a Caldwell bipod on the front of it, and it has an Arkin Optics EP5 scope that is a 5 to 25 by 56. So to begin this load development, I did a 15 shot ladder test at one tenth of a grain increment in powder charge. And there wasn't anything that really stood out as, wow, this is going to be a great spot. Um, I decided to do a load up between 42.9 and 43.1 grains of powder uh, because there's only about a 10 foot per second difference in that 3 tenth of grain increment. Um, the reason I did not go with the higher one is it's pretty much the same muzzle velocity and I don't see the purpose in loading up the extra powder to achieve the same muzzle velocity. Just to go over this recipe real quick, I'm using Stayball 6.5 ball powder made by Winchester, Hornady 147 grain ELD match bullets, Remington 7.5 small rifle bench rest primers, and Lapua brass. And the bullets are seated 20 thousandths off of the lands. This five shot group is going to be with 42.9 grains of powder. At 42.9 grains of powder, I had a group size of 0.73 MOA with a mean radius of only 0.24 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 26.80 with an extreme spread of 26.5 and a standard deviation of 9.66. This five shot group is gonna be with 53.0 grains of powder. At 43.0 grains of powder, I had a group size of just 0.41 MOA with a mean radius of 0.17 MOA. This is by far one of the best groups I've ever had. The average muzzle velocity is 2690 with an extreme spread of 23.55 and a standard deviation of 10.4. This five shot group is with 43.1 grains of powder. At 43.1 grains of powder, I had a group size of 0.76 MOA with a mean radius of 0.27 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 26.91 with an extreme spread of 13.02 with a standard deviation of only 6.67. I'll tell you right now, those are some awesome freaking groups. I cannot wait to analyze these and see what I have. Stay tuned. The 43.0 grain load is pretty impressive uh, in regards to group size. For extreme spread and standard deviation, the numbers are a little higher than what I'd like, but the group doesn't lie. It is fantastic. At only 0.41 MOA group size for five shots, I'm happy with that. This is actually a recipe that I'm going to write down in my book because this is something that I'm going to end up using down the road. If you have any questions or comments about what you see in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you like my video, let YouTube know, give it that thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when new videos come out. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.